Welcome to the Eternal City. It has been eight weeks since the last round in Mexico City, but now the racing comes thick and fast. We are in Rome for the fourth and fifth race of the Formula E Championship. Yeah, I think it's probably one of my favorite tracks in Formula E. One of the most technical tracks of the whole season, so a very different philosophy that needs to go into the setup. We know how to win on this track and hopefully we can, uh, you know, we can do it again this year. The Sunday is going to be tricky, obviously a lot of energy drained from us already from, from the Saturday, but uh, in the end it's the same for everyone and that's what we train for. In Riyadh, uh, you know, the Mercedes were a bit untouchable and it was the turn of the Porsche in Mexico to be untouchable, so hopefully in Rome it's going to be our turn to be the untouchable ones. jean eric Verne won from fifth on the grid in Rome last year. And the first man he's got to get past is his teammate, Antonio Felix da Costa. And we go green in Rome. The two Diesta cheaters are trying to get around Nick de Vries. And there into attack mode then goes Antonio Felix da Costa. Do we see the Mercedes? Ah, and Antonio Felix da Costa getting pushed wide from Nick de Vries. Here's De Vries and Vern going for it, and De Vries tries to close him off, but it's too late. Vern's got him. Here comes Jean Eric Vern on Robin Freins. I think Freins was trying to attack Van Dorn, but Vern has taken advantage of it. Exciting day here in Rome. Jev had an incredible fight, made some very smart moves, and got through to finish fourth. Antonio was up to P2 at one stage. Very, very intense fight with some of the other guys. Unfortunately, he got knocked back a little bit and recovered to finish in P6. So, good points for us yesterday. Another exciting day to come. Really looking forward to seeing how this qualifying session unfolds. It's Jean Eric Vern who takes pole position for Diaz to Cheetah. And that's pole position, my friend. Well done. Yes. Antonio Felix da Costa. He's ended up in ninth on the grid, whereas Vern is starting on pole position. And we go green in Rome. It's a very good start from jean eric Verne. I think he's going to hold the lead and immediately comes across to cover the inside. Verne covers the inside, fronts to the outside. The move is made. And that's what happened with the Dennis Verline incident. Antonio Felix da Costa got past Dennis. And there is Vern going for second place. Two by two by two coming into turn four. And it's Vern who comes out in second position. Mitch Evans wins. Jean-Eric Vern second.